brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. Welcome back to the Healthy Living Edition of KUM News Extra. So you've probably recovered from that huge Thanksgiving feast, and if you overindulged like I did, you may have suffered from some heartburn, and it's that burning pain in the center of the chest just below the breastbone. It's also known as acid reflux, and it happens in adults and even babies and children. If heartburn occurs two or more times a week, though, it could be acid reflux disease, which can be a serious medical condition. Dr. Yit Galan from Express Care joins us now to tell us more about this disease disorder and how you can pre prevent and treat it. Thanks for joining us, Doc. Hi, Mindy. Uh, tell us what are some of the common symptoms of acid reflux. Right, so it's quite an unpleasant sensation that people would have in the center part of their chest traveling up to their throat, a burning feeling or sometimes a bad taste in the back of their throat, burping, and sometimes just chest pain. And so what causes acid reflux? Right, so we have acid in our stomach, which is supposed to remain in the stomach. Um, when we digest our food, it begins the digestive process there. Sometimes though, the sphincter, meaning the separation between the esophagus and the stomach, the sphincter might be a little bit loose, and it will allow some of that acid to leak up into the esophagus and basically burn it. And that's the feeling of heartburn that people will have. So is heartburn and acid indigestion the same thing? It really is. Yeah. Okay, so it, normally you'll feel it here and sometimes it'll go up your... Into you know. the back of the throat, um, basically in this area of the chest. Okay, now uh, is it true that infants can have acid reflux and if so, do you suggest formula or breast milk? Yes, um, infants can be born with, with a loose sphincter also, and especially if they're tipped back, some of the acid from their stomach will go up into their esophagus, and they're very tiny, so their esophagus is short, and that acid can travel all the way up into the back of their throat, and even into their windpipe from there. Mm -hmm. So the children will suffer from spitting up all the time, burping a lot, and sometimes even cough or wheezing. And how do you get rid of a condition like that in babies, though? It's actually treatable um, through positional uh, feeding um, and um, feeding them slowly in small amounts. And sometimes medication is actually required. Okay, and yeah. I think the last part of that question is which do you suggest, formula or breast milk, or does it matter? Um, well, breast is always best, but um, formula may be thickened sometimes to help the baby keep the keep the uh, liquid medicine or uh, liquid uh, food down. Okay. Now, what are some acid reflux foods to avoid? Are there certain foods that might just um cause it to, to flare up, so to speak? Yes, certain foods will make the sphincter looser and also stimulate more acid production. And they're all the tasty good foods. So spicy foods, sour foods, and acidic foods. So if we're thinking about tomatoes, citrus, lemons, grapefruit, um, coffee, chocolate, tea, and of course alcohol. Wow, all of those all things of those, can trigger it. They can trigger it. Okay. At what point should you seek medical treatment for acid reflux or indigestion? When do you realize that, hey, this might not just be because I, I ate those things, maybe this is something more serious? Right. So I think if you're having symptoms for more than two weeks consistently, you should probably think about getting checked. Um, in addition, some warning signs would be if you are losing weight or if you're having changes in your bowel movements. If your stool, meaning your poo, poo has a little bit of blood in it or it's blood black, that is a sign of bleeding coming from the stomach. And people can actually have bleeding ulcers as well that can be part of this diagnosis. So how do you treat just regular heartburn? I mean, I've heard of things like Tums, just taking Tums yes. or Rolaids. Yes, you can take over-the-counter medication first, like Tums, Rolaids, or Zantac. And of course, changing those lifestyle issues like mm -hmm. your alcohol, smoking, and, and the foods that might be triggering it. But um, Basically, if your symptoms are going on for more than a few weeks at least, um, it's important to make sure that you don't have an ulcer. And stomach ulcers are actually caused by a bacteria called H. pylori. They're an infection in your stomach and they can be treated with antibiotics rather than taking Tums or Rolaids for years. Okay, so the best way then uh, to treat what, what might be known, or you were mentioning some of the symptoms, um, uh, 
the color of your stool and things like that. So if people have those symptoms, then they need to go to the doctor because it could be something more serious. Correct. So you could try your Tums Roll Aids or Zantac for a few weeks, and mm -hmm. if you're not improving, then get checked. Okay. Now, is it true that if acid reflux is not treated, it can lead to Barrett's, Barrett's esophagus? And if so, what is that? That is true. <laughs> so um, again, we were mentioning that the stomach should have the should be the container for the acid, and it, the acid should not be leaking up into the esophagus. But if it does so over years and years, it burns the base of the esophagus tube to the point of no return, where there are precancerous changes. And Barrett's esophagus is a name that's given to those precancerous changes of the lower esophagus. Over time, that can turn into cancer. And so it's very important for people who already have precancer to really, really control their heartburn. And that can be done with some very powerful medication uh, that's prescribed. What happens if you don't treat minor heartburn and it persists and it gets worse. We're talking Barrett's esophagus, yes. you mentioned uh, ulcers, stomach ulcers. Right, and another problem that can occur is a stricture where there's so much scarring and scar tissue down there that the esophagus actually kind of gets narrow and it's difficult to swallow. So swallowing problems, indigestion, and of course the worst would be cancer. Oh wow, yeah. okay, so definitely something, something to take to care of. Something to be treated. Yes. Okay. Well, it is time for a break, but we're talking acid reflux and heartburn and taking your questions next when the Healthy Living Edition of KUM News Extra returns. Stay with